you want a safe VPN to trust with your web traffic. And today we'll find out if that is Molvad VPN. Now Molvad has no sponsorships or affiliate plans, and that's great because we conduct our reviews systematically. You can find all our data and processes on GitHub, as well as our website. If you want the most up-to-date information on VPNs, always check the chart, and you can even contribute data or new VPNs yourself, as everything is open source. Our review protocol has six categories, worth five points each, rated by importance for a total score out of five, and this review is using version 3.1. Without further ado, let's begin with the security of Molvad VPN. First, history. They have good history. In fact, one of the best histories with no issues to this day. They have OpenVPN and WireGuard support, which is kind of just a bare minimum that we require. They passed all IP and DNS tests on all devices. They have kill switches, IPv6 leak protection, the good encryption you'd expect to find in any good VPN. Now, they do not have 2FA, which is especially frustrating considering there's no real login outside your account number. So if anyone gets your account number, they now can use your VPN until it expires. 2FA kind of seems like a no-brainer with a system like this. I don't know why that's not there yet. They do have infrastructure and client audits for the utmost transparency, which is fantastic. We don't have many services that do that. There is no misleading security marketing. So to put it all together, perfect security with the exception of no 2FA, which is kind of unfortunate, but everything else they nail. 4.8 out of 5. Let's move on to privacy. Similarly, they have good, if not fantastic history. They've been in the game for a long time and they've had really no issues. They have no logs with a ridiculous amount of transparency on their privacy page, which I encourage you to look at because it's pretty cool how they lay it out. They use their own first party DNS. Now they are under Swedish jurisdiction, which falls under the 14 eyes, which some will say this doesn't matter one bit and some will refuse to even use the service because of this. It's really your call to make, though we do deduct a little bit for this. Just an FYI. The next issue is there's no warned canary or transparency report, which is honestly baffling for a service that's as transparent as Molvat. I'm unsure why this doesn't exist and couldn't find any public statement on why they don't disclose any kind of law enforcement requests or anything else related to this. So I, I don't know, we do deduct for that, but it's kind of weird not to see that. There are no analytics concerns with all of their clients being completely open source. They accept anonymous payment methods, including cash and several cryptocurrencies, and they're one of the few services that have a truly anonymous signup without even requiring an email, alongside Winscribe and IVPN. These are all kind of rare. They actually have some first party servers even, and very clearly outline which ones those are on their website. Seriously, you can check if it's rented or owned and only use servers that they own. This is awesome. And finally, there's really no misleading privacy marketing. They're very transparent about what a VPN does and doesn't do with no crazy claims. Overall, with the exception of the 14 eyes debate, Molvad has amazing privacy practices, some of the best we've seen, with the odd exception of no warrants, canary, transparency reports, or anything of that nature, which is a bit baffling. But I think everything else they do does speak to their solid reputation and dedication to user privacy. They ended up scoring 4.3 out of 5. Speed, as always, is conducted by myself in my location, so take this with a grain of salt as it may not apply to your situation. Molvad Speeds was overall fantastic. Synthetic download, upload, and ping were all perfect, and there was some drop-off in the real-world Android Studio and Ubuntu download tests, which led to a final score of 4.5 out of 5, which is excellent, if not close to, you know, almost not using a VPN. Settings are where Molvad is definitely more limited, as they aim for a simpler experience, which isn't necessarily bad, and they still offer most things you'd expect. I mean, they have a kill switch, network settings, auto-connect, all the other major staples of pretty much every other VPN. Huge shout out to the monochromatic tray option. I was going to complain about that, but I realized they actually had a setting for it, and I was like, wow, cool detail. Putting everything together, settings are three and a half out of five. Nothing too different from other services we look at, uh, but nothing terrible. Usage of Molvad is pretty straightforward. Their desktop clients predominantly rely on a tray-based navigation, and I feel they actually executed this well, so it feels like this is actually helping you instead of hindering you, which is typically what I feel when I'm using tray-based navigation. They do have Linux support as well, which is just incredible. Now, moving to mobile, they're pretty clean clients as well, without much to say. They kind of just work. You can even download it from the open source app store F-Droid on your Android devices, which is completely awesome. Trigger warning, I opened Wolfhead on an iPad and saw this atrocity. So yes, this is an absolute abomination for you iPad users, though it works fine on iPhones. 
And as much as I absolutely despise this, once you've connected, you shouldn't have to interact much with the app again as it's mostly just running in the background. Scoring usage is hard because I rarely give a perfect score and I'm hesitant to give a perfect usage score, but I really can't not give one here. I can nitpick small issues like how there's no built-in updater on some clients, forcing you to re-download the program from their site for every update, but like, the day-to-day -day usage is fantastic. So I'm kind of forced to give them a perfect score here of five out of five on usage. And stability, no issues whatsoever. It seems all VPNs with open source clients have very few problems. Take notes, other VPN companies, five out of five. Before giving you the final score, we have our additionally addressed section of things you should probably know but don't impact scoring. They have five simultaneous devices. They have split tunneling on Android and Linux built in, and they have some other things you can do in different clients if you're using OpenVPN or WireGuard. They do have multi-hop, but it's not really integrated inside the GUI. Port forwarding is being developed with some options already available to you. They have almost 800 servers in 37 countries. Now, they cost $5 a month. Well, five euros a month. It's as simple as that. They have a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not happy with it. So pretty much like the whole month that you pay for, you can get back. They do help privacy causes. They actually are very involved in the privacy community. And I'd say that it is aimed at beginners slash intermediate users who just want peace of mind and just want to use something that they can trust. Putting everything together, Molvad's final score is 4.63 out of five, which is a phenomenal score and puts them at close to the top of our VPN chart at the time of making this review. So Molvad did kick butt and they still kick butt, but I feel that outside the updated UI, there haven't been many changes the last couple years and it's starting to show in some ways. We're seeing more features offered by services like iVPN, Winscribe, and the lack of 2FA is a bit baffling. There is no transparency report or warrant canary or any indicator of what happens with law enforcement requests. People see our privacy score for Molvad and think that it should be perfect and it's like, well, no, it does have some valid problems. It's still undeniably a phenomenal service. And if you're looking for something with an emphasis on privacy and transparency, there's not many services that can even compete with Molvad. I'd say iVPN, Winscribe, Proton, and Molvad are kind of like the undeniable top four when it comes to privacy. So we definitely think Molvad is one of the most trusted companies out there. And we hope if they see this review, they take some of the feedback to heart. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up and definitely be sure to check out our website's tools to not only help you find a VPN, but to help bring transparency to the VPN industry. If you wanna directly support us, we're on Patreon and even accept Monero donations. And there are many free methods of supporting us as well. We really appreciate any support you have. It's how we can make this kind of content for free. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow.